Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Pigeon target acquired. Getting away. Take me home, buddy. Hey, Howard. Think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex. Might have just left the stain on my suit. Clear. Guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards feet. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. One of Howard's pigeons. Oh, come back, little birdie! to help. You know these little guys pretty well, huh? Getting there. Sandra always knew him best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my, my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. There's a pigeon! And the chase is on. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Cancer, you know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moping. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Keep looking, will you? Finding the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. There's a pigeon! Don't run! I won't hurt you! No sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Darren says he misses you. 
Thanks again, Spider-Man. Now, some people falsely say I make up stories about Spider-Man. And this will not help my case because it sounds outlandish, but I have personally seen listener-recorded video of Spider-Man snatching pigeons. Pigeon napping! Why? What possible purpose could there be for such aberrant behavior? I've thought about it long and hard, and I think I've figured it out. He's eating them. We've always assumed Spider-Man is a man with the attributes of a spider. But what if it's the reverse? What if somehow a spider gained the powers of a man and he's stalking his prey? Somewhere there's a giant web with these poor pigeons stuck in it, waiting to be devoured. And will it stop at pigeons? Will we be next? I promise you this. I will not rest until I have the answers.